beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Welcome back to my decluttering with Sadie. You guys, I'm so disappointed. I thought, sure, I was done with my kitchen. And my plan today was to work in this coat closet and declutter this coat, <laughs> coat, this coat closet. A um, lot of winter coats and stuff that I was hoping to bag up and store somewhere. I'm not really sure. Y'all see all the Dollar Tree TP in there? Oh my God. I don't know what happened. I don't know what made me look up and remember that I had missed this um, top part of the cabinet over the microwave with all of my dish towels, washcloths and stuff. And I'm like... Oh my God, how did I forget this? So I'm going to try to tackle this part right here, decide what I want to keep. I did try to put a few little items up since I have my row where you're planted. I love the, that set and I don't want to buy another one. So I put some pot holders over there. I put the oven mitt over there, but it's kind of messing up with my bless, but I can always maneuver that. This is all my B stuff that I typically will not give away. So that's going back up into the, y'all remember the B set last year? I got the pot holders, the oven mitt, the dish towel, and I got the little um, drying mat. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these things, but I'm not giving them away, okay? Then I have flower sack towels some summer stuff in here that I'm probably not even going to use. Food, friends, and sunshine. The summer of my dreams. And it's so summery. And boat wave, sun rays, ain't nothing like summer days. <laughs> and then I have a few of my little cooking ones that I love around baking time. So I'm keeping those. This is something I don't even think I took the tag off. I don't even know. But this is one of those um, sets that I bought from the Dollar General. It says, no worries, be happy. And y'all know I love anything to do with the bees. But I feel bad that they're just sitting up there and I'm not even using them. I don't know what to do, you guys. Then I got this one. You know, I love my lemons. Oh, every day is a fresh start. Then I got Kiss the Cook. <laughs> And I think I'm going to use these because I took the towels down off of all these to wash them. And I think I'm going to use these just as my kitchen motif. Just beat it with the mixer. Tag still on them. My kitchen seasoned with love. And don't, don't flip out. <laughs> and it's really, really good material. I don't even know what this is. It is 70% cotton and 30% polyester. But they're nice for decorations. And this one just says, my kitchen, my rules. So I like stuff like this in my kitchen. So I definitely think I'm going to use those. Then I have Easter. And I have multiples. I had two of these. Happy Easter. Look at that. Then I have one under here with the eggs. Not sure if I want to give it away or not. I don't know. I've got one patriotic one. I've got a boatload of washcloths. This one came from Dollar General, and it's just cute. I think I'm just going to wash that and use it. And this is what I use in a place of paper towels. This is how I make my paper towels last, by using, you know, dish towels. So I have a pile of those here, along with these. And these are all the washcloths, washcloths that haven't even been used. Look at that. Brand new. And then these are my little ones that I have used. I might donate these. I don't know. But I got to figure out what I'm going to do because I have my shrimp and my mus mussels over there defrosting. And I want to cook my dinner because it's already dinner time. Once again, I have let the day go by me. And I really, really wanted to move out of the kitchen, you guys. I am so upset. <laughs> So I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with those towels and I'll come back and show you guys if I get this closet done today. Okay, okay. my sweets, I am up on a ladder and I got what I decided I was going to keep. It's my bee stuff over here, washcloths that I haven't used yet, used washcloths, dish towels, and then all the towels that I decided I wanted to keep. I put them back there because there's a little cord back there so you can't really 
get anything in here. I've got my B tablecloth that my girl Leslie Blue gave me. And it looks better. It looks nice. And the only stuff that I will be donating will be this little pile right here. So, uh... I'm going to probably ask my girlfriend if she wants any of this stuff. The Easter towel and this whole set that I think is really, really pretty if your kitchen is red. And I hung all these little ones around here so I could switch them out periodically when I have to wash them. So I've got all the kitchen ones hanging here. So I think that looks really good. So I'm going to see if I can get to that uh, closet real quick. And that will be the end of today's video because I've got to cook my dinner. Okay, my sweets. This is how far I've gotten so far. I got some of the winter coats out. I did leave a few just in case it gets cold. I have all this winter stuff right here that I'm going to put in a big green garbage bag. The trick is how to get all this stuff back in here without it feeling crowded. That is cardboard that I had back there. I don't even know what for. This is a bag of extra screen for my patio in case I get a hole or something. And I found cake boxes. That's the donation pile right there. I found one of my little uh, yoga mats or whatever. My winter boots. That's my dad's pool stick and cue that belongs to my baby sister. Look at you guys. I found this big, ginormous, what is it, one gallon of LA's Totally Awesome Drain Blast. And I just went out and bought a new one. I found these two pictures down here. It looks like I got them from Roses. I completely forgot about them. I have no idea where I'm going to hang those, but either I'll find a place to hang them or I'll see if my sister wants them for her house. So I have all my winter gloves and hats that I'm going to put in a bag. I found extra boxes of tissue. I've already swept out the um, bottom of the closet and put my little cooler and my little drink cooler back in there. So now I'm going to finish and see what I can do with all these napkins. <laughs> Y'all know this is crazy, right? But it does feel good once you get it done. So I'm going to come back and show you guys once I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, my sweets. It's not too bad. It looks much better than it did earlier. I put all the napkins over here until I figure out what I want to do with them. Tissues, napkins. My box tissues go over here. All the TP and the paper towels. I got most of the coats over here. Only left my one leather coat over there. I got the winter um, clothes down there in that bag. And those are the extra pieces of my screen that I left because I do need to plug in some holes. And my food tent, my little mat, and my little portable chair. <coughs> Excuse me. I put these pictures in here for right now until I decide what I'm going to do with them. And, and I set that um, drain blast down here just for now hoping i don't forget it again so i've got a small little pile of donation and then i just have to discard of these cardboard i still don't know why they were in there but yeah i think it looks pretty pretty good so once i go grocery shopping and get my paper towels and my regular tp i'll have plenty of room for that stuff so i got my little laundry odor eliminator I got my little, this is my happy place, so, and my little decorations over here on the wall where I usually hang my jackets at. So, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I don't know why I'm coughing, but I'm getting ready to cook my dinner, and I appreciate you guys for watching and supporting this channel. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J, coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a blessed day. And happy Mother's Day weekend to all.